Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to present on Mars and uh, from Health Center. Uh, next slide, sir. These are some topics which uh, I will explain. Next slide. So temperature, temperature of the Mars. Overall, Mars is a cold. Its, uh, its average global temperature is around 80 degrees Fahrenheit and has a much thinner atmosphere than Earth because it has about a sixth of the pressure of Earth's atmosphere. The planet doesn't retain heat very long, causing temperature to drop quickly. And um, as you know, Mars is an extremely cold planet with an average temperature around uh, minus 80 degrees and temperature can dip to minus 225 degrees around the and periods of work are brief. A uh, high can highs can reach seventy degrees for a brief time around noon at at the equator in the summer. Uh, these are the temperature. And come on the next slide, please. So mental condition. So feeling of isolation and uh, boredom, uh, the knowledge that Earth is so very far away and uh, long periods of uh, confinement are some of the mental issues researchers uh, uh, worry about for crew members and um, astronauts stay mentally healthy in a space. Uh, so how can, so astronauts on the ISs are given adequate sleep, healthy and a good tasting food, exercise and meaningful work, laser time and, uh, and the ability of social and recreational events like um, music, movies, context with family and friends, privacy and adequate space and, uh, uh, and a supportive ground team. Now, next slide, please. Human rate, uh, heart rate, human heart rate. So human heart, uh, heart uh, rate, uh, the cardiovascular system that uh, includes both the heart and blood vessels has uh, involved to operate the uh, operate in Earth's gravity while standing, sitting, or uh, laying down. Daily, uh, daily physical activity while working or exercising against gravity keeps everything flowing smoothly. Come on the next slide. Calories consumption. So um, there are numerous challenges to eating in a space and uh, low gravity conditions. Not only the pr primary issues of getting the food from the package into astronaut's mouth. Uh, there are many health con uh, considerations uh, over long periods in a space. Muscles mass, uh, uh, muscles mass and uh, bone density can decrease by up, uh, by up to 20% and um, this loss may not uh, hinder astronauts uh, while, they, uh, while they are in orbit, but, uh, but their, uh, week, <laughs> their weekends, uh, uh, week, uh, weekends bone can uh, prove frazzle when uh, when they uh, when they return to earth increasing the risk of uh, uh, fractures and um, exercise and food rich in uh, in calcium like uh, yogurt uh, yogurt is very rich in calcium and uh, are uh, therefore essentials these are some chart and yes glucose glucose we produce on mars so how co2 dominates the thin atmosphere of mars and energy rich glucose is a great fuel for micro milking bioreactors that could manufacture a very uh, variety of uh, items for future uh, settlers of the red planet uh, next slide
on board the international space station astronauts need to work out uh work out to maintain their bones density and um, uh, muscle mass usually exercising uh two hour every single day throughout the week and they exercise on three different pieces of uh, equipment uh like a bike and treadmill and uh, uh, any others uh the advanced uh, restive exercise device next slide construction uh, cost, uh constructing a uh, mars bases will be expen uh, expen expensive to uh, due to the uh, vast cost vast cost of uh, transporting heavy material uh, so but uh, researchers have found one way to cut down uh, the price mixing uh, na uh, native planetary uh, planetary soil uh with the uh, astronauts blood and uh, astronauts urine uh to make building su uh, supplies these are building supplies sample next slide these are some challenges for astronauts like uh, space sickness uh, on our tiny uh, resources in your brain give you a uh, spital awareness they tell you when uh, when you when you tilt your head and um, or a chance uh, for pos uh, position but it's different in a space in a space uh, like uh, in uh, in a zero gravity and uh, in, in zero gravity don't work as well and uh, as a as a result astronaut suffers uh, suffer a lot of nausea uh, nausea and uh, a lot of them spend days feeling uh, incredibly unwell and uh, it's like being seasick and uh, mental uh, mental stress so in uh, such so these uh, back to the previous slide yes so mental stress uh, like astronaut must do two or uh, two to three hours for exercise every day just to maintain muscles mass and uh, cardiovascular fitness the heart loses muscles which which would be extremely dangerous if they didn't maintain it through uh, through exercise and uh, beaker muscles a like astronaut must do 2 to 3 hours of exercise every day just to maintain muscle mass and uh, cardiovascular fitness the heart loses muscles which would be extremely dangerous also and um, eye problem it's a common hazard on uh, uh, on the iss is the fine specks uh, that uh, that float around the cabin often loading in the eyes of astronauts and causing uh, abrasion and uh, but the lack of gravity but the lack of gravity and the movement uh, movement of fluid fluid are the, what can cause the most serious issues for uh, astronauts most uh, most and most end of wearing glasses in the space and uh, when they when they come come back uh some event have permanent changes uh some uh, some even uh, uh, even have permanent changes to their vision and cough and cold are common also we are not sure why but uh, it seems that bacteria are more dangerous in space um on uh, top of uh, top uh, top of that if you sneeze in space all the droplets come straight out uh, and uh, keep going if someone has a flu if someone has a flu everyone is going to get it and um, there are limited medical facilities and a very long way to the nearest uh, any doctor
these uh, this is a micro which uh, which can help to astronauts for uh, to protect in uh tardigrade uh, tardigrade process uh, super powers when it comes to surviving uh, really harsh conditions they can live uh, live for up 60 years can survive for uh, up to 30 years without food or water and uh, are able to uh, ensure temperature ex uh, extremes of up to 150 degrees uh, celsius uh, 150 degrees celsius and uh, and the deep of uh, and the deep sea uh, and uh, even the microgravity and um, uh, elev uh, elevated radiation uh, level of space water wear survive extreme conditions by going into the into a state of uh, suspended uh, anima uh, animation and uh, essentially water wears can dry up and uh, survive for years without water ca <coughs> sorry carried around on the wind they um, uh, when they uh, when they do come into contact with water they revive they revive and uh, get on the with uh, get on with their lives as uh, as uh, as though nothing happened next slide so come on the next yes the key traits to human health and uh, performance associated with space flight are radiation uh, altered gravity fields uh, hostile and uh, close environments distance from earth and isolation and con uh, confinement and from these five hazards these five hazards as step the health and performance risk studied by nasa and human uh, research program and um, exposures and their uh, interaction with individual factors such as such as uh, age sex genomics and etc these uh, uh, these interactions are uh, ultimately responsible for risk to the human system uh, and etc these are so this is my presentation ah uh, yes these are some references next slide thank you thank you everyone